Hello! It is moving day. This is my breakfast. <laughs> breakfast of champions over here. It w it's been quite a weekend. We just got back last night, technically this morning, from a wedding yesterday. It was lovely, it was wonderful. Now back to reality. We need to pack our stuff. We're moving! Unreal, I still can't believe it. Alex is starting to put all the boxes together. The girls are already packing. They've been trying to do so. Is it a good idea that we left packing to the very last minute? I feel like yes. It'll put some pressure on us, put a fire under our butt. Uh, really, we, we <laughs> it just ended up this way. We didn't have enough. We tried to pack before we left, and then I was like, ah, oh, we ran out of time, and you know how that is. So, today's the day. We're gonna pack everything up. Hopefully we're gonna get rid of some stuff. I don't know, I'm gonna try to declutter in the process, do my best, we'll see how this goes. I gotta finish my breakfast and I'll, uh, I'll set you guys up. What room should we do first? To be honest, I don't wanna go into any room because every single room is a disaster. We haven't cleaned in about four weeks, it's whatever, judgment free today. That's our friendship, let's go. Already lost one marker. That's why I bought two. Honestly, I don't even know where to start. Alex is taping up some boxes. That we got for free? Oh yeah, we got them for free! On, from Facebook Marketplace. Always check Facebook Marketplace. We got, how many boxes were there? There's like 60 boxes, and we're gonna need way more than that. So we might have to make a trip to Lowe's. I'm gonna put the board games in here. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. I don't remember packing last time we moved. I'm looking around and I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh, we have so much. And that is the final moment that I speak to the camera for the duration of this video. <laughs> So I will be doing a voiceover. I don't typically do a lot of voiceovers for, well, I don't really know. I feel like it brings me back to when I try to do cleaning videos and they just didn't perform well. I don't know. I've got a couple uh, conspiracy theories about that. But uh, anyway, <laughs> this is a pack with me video. I even thought about not even posting it, but I decided to clearly, if you're seeing this, I don't know why, but I've gotten a lot of requests like, hey, are you going to post a packing video? You guys, I aim to please, you know that. And guess what? I had five and a half hours worth of footage. Five and a half, what? My memory, I had multiple memory cards, okay? I even had to go to Target, buy a new memory card. Going to Target when you're packing is like um, doing... Going on vacation is what I'm going to say. It's like going on vacation. It was a joy, pure pleasure. So let me tell you my thought process while I was packing. Wow, I never want to do this again. Holy crap. <laughs> How do people do this? Every year or every couple of years, I mean, my hat goes off to you. It is so much effort. So much work is involved. I, you know what, if I had to pack my crap up every year, I would become a minimalist. What, well, you know, I say that, <clears throat> who knows if that's actually the case, but I will say it's definitely how I felt while I was packing. I just thought, how do we have so much crap and why? And it's like, you know, you see the big things and you're like, oh, of course, do I need this? Oh yeah, I guess so. But then it's all the little things, all the little things. I know it's not even knickknack. It's it's like uh, pens or oh I can't even put into words what it is. I I have some scissors next to me. An old journal. I found an old journal while I was packing. It was in the girls' room. Do you know? Uh, oh, when I say journal, I mean uh, what is this thing called? A calendar. It's from the year two thousand eight. Why do I still have junk like this in my house? I guess I wanted to keep it for memories. Wait, 2008. Why? Seriously, why did I keep this? Okay, let me flip to a day. Oh, this is the stuff I wanted to remember. Tuesday, get blood drawn. Oh my gosh, Uncle Bill's cookout. Yes, need to remember that. Pick out bridesmaids dresses. Holy cow, was I planning a wedding while also working, while also going to college full time. And that, my friends, is why I broke out in a rash 
Uh, I would say head to toe, but it was not on my head or toes, but it was on every other part of my body. And they, you know, they couldn't figure out what it was. Man, I took three rounds of steroids. To, and then, you know, a year later, I had to take another round. It would not go away. It was crazy. I tell you what, stress does crazy things on your body. And moving is probably one of the top stressors, not just for adults, but also for kids. It is a huge transition for them. I've definitely seen it with our kids just moving to this house. Okay, hold on. Let's get back to the important stuff. Okay, let's get back to my planner. What was I doing? Oh, Tony's birthday. I don't even know a Tony anymore. So <laughs> I couldn't tell you if it was a good party or not. Oh, my tanning ends. Better renew my tanning bed membership. <laughs> oh my gosh, were you the kind of person who tanned? I had uh, lab reports due. I had, oh my gosh, student government. I was a part of student government. I had to make the minutes and make sure they were printed for the next meeting. So much crap is in this. I, I was a busy gal. I guess that never changed, did it? And I'll tell you something. I have no idea why I kept this piece of crap in my life. And I went through boxes as I was packing and I tried to declutter as much as I could and as we were unpacking, I decluttered more because obviously I'm not the only one in the house that was packing boxes. Alex and the girls, oh my, I don't even want to talk about the girls boxes, the boxes that they packed. I was like, there was legitimate garbage in some of them. I just, kids, kids is all I can say. That's what I just kept saying. They're kids. <laughs> I couldn't give another uh, excuse for them. Anyway, now that I'm looking at the planner, I'm like, man, this is so cute. I guess I understand. I remember buying this planner and I guess it does hold memories, but do, do I need to hold on to it? Do I need to tangibly touch it to get those memories? I guess I, I guess I could take a picture of it, but I won't. Anyway, it's really cute. Maybe I'll share it on Instagram. It's just a cute little calendar with uh, cats on it. You know what? I'm going to look at the brand. I feel like Okay, I'll just tell you this. When I bought it, it was probably like $6.99. I felt like, man, this is a big purchase. <laughs> like it's an unnecessary purchase, kind of. I needed a planner. I didn't want to spend too much. I feel it may have been more than $7 because anything at Hallmark was, you know, overpriced. I actually feel like they stopped uh, Hallmark stores, right? Do they not have those anymore? Or maybe they're just in the mall. I don't know. Anyway, this is getting off topic have we met? Nice to meet you. My name is Kim. I have some hot chocolate here. I'm sipping on some, uh, what do the cool people call this? Cold brew. I've got some cold. It's not cold brew at all. Oh, speaking of hot chocolate, you guys, the weather has been amazing. Yes, it's Florida and cold is subjective. I'll tell you that. It has been so nice. We have not had to run the air conditioning in our house, which is a godsend because I'm honestly scared to see the first electricity bill. So I think this will help soften the blow since we haven't had to run the AC yet. Oh, uh, I'm talking, <laughs> so I'll be right back. Well, I have one room 95% done, the living room, hallelujah. Took way longer, some stuff happened in between. I was going to move to the kitchen, but I can't deal with that. That will probably be the most time consuming room to pack. So I just need to get one room done. That doesn't take a long time. So I think I'm going to work on the dining room. I just have a few things in there and a few things in the German bench. And then we'll move on from there. But I think this will be an easy one. Uh, was it an easy one, though? Uh, no, nothing. Nothing that day was easy. <laughs> Unpacking. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I have a little bit of a, um, I don't know if it's allergies, congestion. I don't know if all the dust that was kicked up from moving just affected me. I don't know if it's a sinus infection, ear infection. I got something going on, okay? I'm okay, but also uh, not okay. I Hence, I'm sipping on some hot chocolate. So you won't be able to hear the difference too much in my voice to try to ease my throat. And how did I get this hot chocolate? I'm bouncing around. Seven different stories I'm trying to tell you. One about uh, unpacking. What was I going to say about that? Who the heck knows? It's hard is what I'm going to say. We'll come back to that. <laughs> we'll circle back. Anyway, uh, hot chocolate. 
Oh my gosh, you guys. In the new house I shared on my Instagram, if you don't follow me there, you're missing out on a lot. Okay? A lot. I share so much more over there. And uh, it's a good time. Most of the time. I would say 99.9% .9 of the time is a good time, okay? Uh, just kidding. It's 100% of the time. Anyway, <laughs> hot chocolate. I got it <clears throat> from the fridge. The fridge in this house. Oh, I actually feel like I shared it in the in my previous look at my Hannah's dream house that we just bought video. Uh, <laughs> here's my house. Let me show it off. MTV Cribs, what's up? So anyway... There's this little Keurig thing that attaches to the water dispenser in my fridge. Holy cow. I've drank more hot chocolate in the past two days than I have probably my entire life. It's just so convenient. Yes, could I put some water into the microwave and warm it up for one minute and get the same effect? Yes. But is it just as cool? No. <laughs> no, it's absolutely not. <laughs> oh, that's another thing. I shared on my Instagram. Oh, I'm making some hot chocolate. And so many people were like, uh, why are you using water? Have we met? It purifies the soul. Okay. I love water. I think it, hot chocolate tastes better with water. I don't know. That's just me. My whole family uh, drinks it with milk. So there's that. Anyway, <clears throat> so packing. Back to packing. That's the whole premise of this video. Oh, smelling that candle. Man, I'll tell you what, when you pack a house, you have to pack every single thing you own. No item left behind, I'm saying. Oh my gosh, what I find? Some chocolate? Thank goodness. I'll tell you that. Packing is something I 1000% never want to do again for the rest of my life and hopefully won't ever have to. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> things happen and maybe I will again. I'll, if I have to do it again... I'm going Natalie Bennett style and I'm going to declutter 75% of my house, <laughs> okay? Because I don't, and it's, uh, listen, I can justify everything that we own in my house and be like, oh, whatever. But I'm trying to like lighten the load by taking out 10 sheets of paper. Like, come on, Kim, it's, it's not going to help, man. <laughs> it's not going to help. Packing is so tedious. It's time consuming. It is not fun. It's the opposite of fun. Moving, it, I guess, the, in the grand scheme of things is fun, but packing in and of itself is other than. But, but I say that, but also it's like, oh, you get to go through every single thing you own and you get to decide what to keep and what to get rid of. So we actually donated a lot of stuff. Um, uh, lamps is a big one. We got rid of the toddler bed. We got rid of the we got rid of a few things, but um, lamps, this house that we've moved into, oh my gosh, can I just tell you one thing? I've never had so many light switches in a single house. I've yet to count them, but if I do so before I post this, I will put the number on the screen and we can both be impressed. It is absurd, the amount of light switches and light bulb. I don't, don't ask me how to change a light bulb in this house. It's 500 feet in the ceiling. Why are the ceilings so tall? We could fit a giraffe in here. Maybe we'll get a pet giraffe. Will that be our next, <laughs> our next adventure? Mmm. Sipping on my hot chocolate. Do you call it hot chocolate or hot cocoa? Oh, we, I had a cat named Coco. I should get a podcast. This is getting out of hand. Listen, guys, we have 45 minutes of this. You and me together hanging out. It's just uh, friend style. You know, you don't even have to watch me pack my house, which I don't know why you, why you would want to watch me do that. Oh, speaking of my desk, you see that cricket in my desk? Uh, it broke. My desk broke. It's from Ikea. It's been moved a couple times. I bought it secondhand. So it was it was just bound to happen. OK, it's Ikea furniture. But actually, our Ikea furniture in general has held up pretty well considering the price and stuff. You know, I know a, a, Ikea furniture gets a lot of uh, crap for being crappy, <laughs> I guess. Uh, anyway, it's fine. Alex is going to fix it. Just needs a few pegs. Oh my gosh. Speaking of broken. Okay. So in the beginning I was packing that box and you probably saw me with the bubble wrap, like barely wrap my snow globes. And you're probably thinking, Kim, those are going to break in the move. What are you thinking? Listen, I wanted to be as fast as I could, as effective as I could. And I packed these boxes like I was packing sardines 
Okay. Where does that expression come from? I don't know. I can't tell you if I've ever opened a can of sardines in my life, but apparently they are packed very tightly and very well. So actually, Alex used to get sardines for his pizza. Okay. That's a side note. So, oh my gosh. Speaking of pizza, I can't, you guys, I can't stay on one track. Hold on. What was I just talking about? Packing like sardines. Oh, the boxes were so heavy. Alex was like, you need to make the next one lighter. And I was like, "Eh, okay, okay, okay. But I didn't. (laughs) And then uh, sardines. What was I going to say about pizza? Oh, okay. So you know how tradition is. You move into a house and you eat pizza the first night because it's tradition. When you move, you order out. You You buy something that you don't have to cook. But pizza with a family (laughs) full of gluten allergies and dairy allergies is not the best. We've ordered it. We've tried it. It's, it works, I guess, when it needs to. But I wanted their first meal in the house to be something enjoyable and not crust with sauce and like maybe pepperoni on it. You know what I mean? So, um, we, I had to cook. I cooked the first night in our house. I don't remember what I made. I made something probably super simple. And I have a handful of meals that are super simple. So it's just, you know, what did, oh, I made chili. Of course I did. You know why? It was beautiful outside. Like I was saying earlier, the windows are open. Hopefully I'm saving money on electricity. I don't know though, because of how many freaking light bulbs are in this dang house. We're going to find out. I'll, (laughs) I'll keep you updated. As you can tell, I did not uh, edit these clips very well. Let me fix that. Okay, I fixed it, so hopefully you won't be able to tell, but, in, you know, pretty, I'm sure you've seen it throughout the video if you're even watching or if you're treating this like a podcast, just, hey, what's up? I hope you're having a good time doing dishes or whatever it is you're doing around the house, being a mom and not having 10 seconds to yourself to watch something and hang out with a friend uninterrupted. I feel you, man. I feel you. Anyway, uh, yeah, I didn't edit these clips very well. I just shortened them all up. I had five and a half hours worth of footage. Oh, that was me trying to focus the camera. Welcome to YouTube life. I have five and a half hours worth of footage, right? You've heard me say that 20 times now. Do you know how many hours of footage I had to sift through? Five and a half. Yep, you got it. (laughs) You, You got it. So... I thought, well, initially I thought, man, what the heck am I going to do during this pack with me? I didn't talk to the camera. I don't think I'm going to post it. You know, and then some people were like, please, we want to see you pack your crap. I was like, all right, man, I aim to please the masses. And when I say masses, I mean, however many of you are out there, just you. It's just me and you hanging out. So I condensed it all down 45 minutes. So we've been in our house for uh, a uh, five days. <laughs> I've been unpacking like a mad woman. I have been trying to get as much done as I can because we are celebrating Meredith's birthday. Yes. Can you even believe it? Her second birthday is just, when are you watching this? It's tomorrow. I actually don't know. I don't know dates. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> it's this weekend. Today or tomorrow is when it is for you. Well, I don't know when you're watching this either. That's besides the fact she's turning two. What? Unreal. Wasn't her B birthday party just last week? That's how I feel anyway. In some ways, you know, time is a thief. And then in others, I'm like, man, it seems like five years ago that we just started looking for a house. And then here we are moving into this crazy monstrosity. It, it, It doesn't seem real. If I'm being honest, it kind of feels like we're at an Airbnb and (laughs) like, we're just, I I don't know, getting situated. I feel like, I don't know. It's just a really bizarre feeling. I feel like, you know, I say this often, but I feel like I don't deserve it. I feel like why, why? (laughs) I, I have a really hard time understanding. It just, why are we so lucky to live in this house? It doesn't make sense. I can't wrap my mind around it. I'm very grateful and thankful but uh, yeah, I just, I, I don't understand uh, how, how we managed to get this house is beyond me. 
That's all I can. It's beyond me. I don't know. So I've been busy trying to get everything situated because people are coming over. Not I mean, we're not having a big birthday party for her. It's just I said, you know what? Okay. I mean, I say I'm not having a big birthday party and I plan on filming a what's it called? Like party prep. Oh, my gosh. I just found a. Oh, I found a diamond in the rough. I found a diamond. Uh, you know what happens when you go under pressure? That's when diamonds are created. So I found a Swiss Miss French vanilla hot cocoa packet. I must have hid these all around my house from my children. And every time I unpack another box, I like find another one. I'm so thankful. They are my favorite hot chocolate. They are discontinued. They don't sell them anymore. They're delicious, uh, but I do not recommend buying them. It's probably like $100 a packet. Anyway, what was I saying? I, okay, so I've been, <laughs> the party prep video I plan on filming Initially, we thought, okay, we don't have to do anything big for her party. I'll just make a cake. And then that turned into, well, you know, it is her birthday. Maybe I should make a craft for her. And then that turned into, well, we have three other kids. Maybe I'll do something fun for them. And then it, it was just a snowball effect of we can have our own party. And then, well, we moved in. We might as well have some family members over. Just let them know. No pressure. Don't bring a gift. Don't just if you want to come and have some cake, come on over. So um, it, it turned into us, me planning a birthday party for her. Super simple, budget friendly. So that is happening. And so in the midst of unpacking, and packing and then my gosh this the day we got home oh I already told you guys we just got home from a wedding I feel like what this is the first time me sitting down recording this voiceover this is the first time I've like sat for an extended period of time so it feels nice just to hang out with you and chit chat with you I should have gone on Instagram and asked like hey what do you want me to talk about because otherwise I'm just going to talk about a whole bunch of random stuff and who knows if it's something that you're interested in or not. You interested in hot cocoa? Because I've talked about that to ad nauseum. So you know what I do. I like to look for quotes. So I found this one. Cleaning out the past, packing up the present, and preparing for a much better future. Does that kind of sum up packing your life? Ugh, it feels so weird to say that. Ugh. You're packing up your life, your entire life in boxes. What? It's so hard to comprehend. And then once you pack it, for us anyway, the next day, I mean, we went to bed at like 2 a.m. after we were packing. Next day, we were unpacking those boxes. And it felt good to go through like one box at a time. Woo, woo, woo. But then after two days of unpacking boxes, you're like, how did I pack it in one day, but it's taking me over a week <laughs> to unpack? This is wild. Okay, I actually, when I was looking for a quote about moving, this quote came up. It's by Amy Poehler. Uh, and I, the way I look at quotes is, um, if it comes up, then it's something that I need to read in that moment, you know? And it says, if you can dance and be free and not be embarrassed, you can rule the world. Uh, do you believe that? <laughs> Amy Poehler, rule the world. Uh, watch out. I'm about to rule the world. Yeah, I, I can uh, dance and not be embarrassed. Maybe not 25 years ago in public. But that's what growing is all about. I keep getting... Uh, notifications on my phone I just posted to Instagram and I posted finally <laughs> it's been a week but a picture of us from the wedding oh my gosh I didn't even mention okay here's the problem with Instagram every time I make a post it takes me forever because one I have to find the pictures and you know me I take like 20 pictures of one thing and then I have to figure out which picture is the best and it's just a whole thing right but then I also make a basically a blog post every time it's a pro every time I'm like I'm gonna make this short and sweet and then here I go a short story long you know 500 lines later so 
Wentworth was the freaking ring bearer and I didn't even mention it in my post. He was so adorable. He was loving life. He thought he looked so sharp in his suit. He had the gel in his hair. He was looking fly. He, it was so adorable watching him. Oh, here I am decluttering. I went through all the clothes and I said, I don't need all of these newborn clothes. Why, why, why? So the stuff I'm throwing on the floor is stuff that I'm donating. And I got rid of most of that basket, which I'm pretty proud of. Okay, I'm pretty proud of that fact. The more I could get rid of, and at the at the end of moving, I just kept saying, man, Alex, burn it. Like, I don't even want it. Don't bring it over. He would text me things. Do you want me to pack this? Or what do you want to do with this? And I'd be like, no, I don't want it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Okay, I had that spirit of no mercy. I didn't want anything. Uh, don't talk to me about the clothes in my closet, though. Okay, <laughs> I've yet to unpack those. And I'm actually going to do it in a video all on its own. I feel like I'm not going to get rid of much, <laughs> but we'll get there. Anyway, so the Instagram post I posted and, um, okay, hold on. I guess I should finish that and then talk to you. Don't let me re forget to talk to you about how our things in our less than 1,700 square foot house has filled up the house that we're currently in. Okay, I'll get there. So about the Instagram post, when we went to the wedding, I felt, I don't know. Okay, so here's the thing. I went to the wedding early and I had my hair done and it was cute. I went with Wentworth. He was part of the bridal party, so I had to go early. But then I went even earlier because um, you know, he needed to take pictures. But also I am making a wedding video for them. So I went earlier to, you know, get shots, special moments with the bride and groom, special moments of the bride and, you know, the first look from her dad. Oh my gosh, just those amazing memories I wanted to capture. So uh, we've made wedding videos for a few friends in the past and family members because Alex, for one, he's a, he's the main culprit behind it. So he, um, whenever someone's having, whenever we're invited to a wedding, he says, did you hire a wedding photographer? And most of the time they say no because they're so expensive and they are very pricey. But for Alex, it's worth it. We got a really good deal on ours. I feel like it's because we got married where it was like kind of turn of the century when it came to wedding videos. Most people wanted photos and then it was turning into videos. Or they're just more special. You could hear people's voices and all of that good stuff. So, uh, you know, the vows are captured. All, all of that special all those special things that happen during a wedding that you want to remember. So we have a wedding video and we watch it every year on our wedding anniversary or close to it. And we just enjoy it so much. And, you know, for us, for how many years have we been married? I don't even know. Funny story. My brother asked me the other day, he was getting a security clearance and he needed my, or he was like re-upping, whatever, it doesn't matter. But he asked me what my anniversary date was. And I said, Oh my gosh, I don't know. I was looking around my house. I was looking at our wedding photos. I said, I don't know our wedding anniversary. And I blamed it on the fact that the night prior, I got two hours of sleep. And I said, let's just leave it at that. I couldn't figure it out. I kept spouting out birthdays. I was like, you know what? I can't even remember. December 10th is our wedding anniversary. I share that with Joanna Thornton here on YouTube's. Her and her husband got married on the same day. I'm pretty sure. So that's fun. What was I talking about? Wedding videos. So anyway, I, <laughs> wow, wow, short story long. If I ever had have a podcast, that's what it's going to be called. So that's what this video is going to be called. So I had my hair done. <laughs> I went to, to, you know, to video all of that, those special moments before the ceremony. I just went in actually the dress that I'm wearing in this pack with me vlog because, well, that's a whole other story. Okay. I can't get into that, but I had my hair done. My makeup was done. I, did, I had normal shoes on because I didn't want to be running around in heels and a dress. But then I got there and after I got Wentworth dressed and I saw everyone else dressed and I was like, oh my gosh, should I get dressed? And I felt like if I didn't get dressed then, then I wouldn't have time to do it later. And I, it was a whole thing. So then I got dressed. But then what happened was that I was wearing my heels, which were so adorable, by the way. They were purple heels. I got them from Goodwill, of course, along with my dress and the coat that I was wearing. I mean, I loved the outfit that I was wearing. I might wear it for family photos, my dress anyway. But um, 
what was I saying? Oh, my shoes. So I was wearing heels and it was, oh my gosh, you guys, it was raining the day before, like a couple days before they had a cold front come in Georgia. It was downpouring, raining, all this stuff. But the day of her wedding, like a couple of hours before the ceremony, it stopped. <laughs> and so they were fine. They, they decorated outside, which was their plan all along. Could you imagine like getting a venue and expecting, you know, outdoor pictures and all those beautiful, the scenery and then having to do it indoor, you know what I mean? And I know it happens all the time. One of my friends had a beach wedding and she did the ceremony outside, but then her weather app, you know, said it was going to rain. So she decided to move the rehearsal inside and then it didn't end up raining. And then, you know, the regret behind, oh, should I have just gone with it anyway? But better safe than sorry is what I always say. Anyway, <laughs> wow, Kim, all I'm trying to tell you with this is that I was running back and forth to the groom suite, to the bridal party, and I was running in heels in the wet ground, chasing after Wentworth, holding him most of the time. He's not a light little boy and like huffing and puffing. So moral of the story is that by the time the wedding actually started, I probably looked like a complete disaster. My makeup was, you know, sweaty and running. And then my heels were all muddy and my hair fell out and I tried to fix it. But then I just thought, oh, forget it. Just take it out. It's not even worth it. No one's here for you. No one's looking at you or your hair. So I took it out. But then now the pictures that I took with Alex, my hair just looks a rat's nest. And I, you know, you know, and on top of all of that, I didn't get to wear my Cole Haan jacket or what is it called? A coat. I didn't bring my Cole Haan coat. You guys know I found that thrifting. It was like the thrift find of the century. I thought about packing it, but then I was like, oh, I don't know if it's going to be that cold. Um, It was that cold. Anyway, it all turned out fine. <laughs> Literally no one cared about how I looked, but you know, in my head, I was like, oh man, I'm at a wedding and I probably look terrible. It was a great night. It was a great time. Happy to be home. Happy for the happy couple and all that good stuff. Oh, I, you know, I don't even know where they're going on their honeymoon. I don't know if I asked. I should have asked. where did you go on your honeymoon? Alex and I went to Paris. <laughs> Does that, <laughs> it's a terrible laugh. Does that sound... Uh, I don't know, a little pompous, like, Ooh, we went to Paris, France on our honeymoon, no big deal. It was a big deal. Also, our wedding was a big deal. Okay, it's a big deal, your wedding day. Also a big deal, packing and moving. Moving is a, a huge transition in your life. Like how I just dumped all those clothes in there. Because I, it was so late at this point, I didn't even care. I was like, just get it in a box. I'll deal with it later. So we're going to have to contend with that <laughs> when I unpack my my closet. I'm not looking forward to it, unpacking my closet. It's, I think, the only boxes that we haven't opened yet. We have, I uh, haven't really organized the playroom. I started to last night, spent way too much time on it. Oh my gosh, you know what? <laughs> I actually went to, where did I go to buy Oh, I, I, okay. So I had to finish filming a home goods shop with me video, which I thought I would post today, but things don't work out always how you want them to. I, my clips are all not uploading right. It's, it's whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Can you hear the stress in my voice? I'll figure it out. Don't care. So what was I talking about? Oh, I had to go to, well, I didn't. So I was filming a shop with me at home goods, TJ Maxx, all those places. And I, okay, what sparked this uh, conversation I'm having with you is that I put, is my oven on? Oh, I guess, yeah, it is. We're making a pizza. Oh, speaking of my oven, one topic at a time. Kim, I need a pencil. I need some paper. Where's my schedule book? Let me write some stuff down. Okay, two stories. <laughs> Do we have enough time? Do we ever? Okay. The what sparked this conversation is that I was packing photo albums, old photo albums that I had recently gone through when we were doing Alex's declutter, declutter, closet declutter video. And I found some old photos of my parents' wedding. And I thought, you know what? I'm going around like, you know, thrift store shopping for some artwork for our walls. 
why don't I just hang up something memorable? So I plan on hang, you know, taking some old photos of my family and hanging them up around the house. I think that would just be so special. So anyway, I bought some uh, photo frames from Home Goods. <laughs> so already my closet looks a mess. Not because of all the boxes. Well, obviously because of all the boxes and stuff. But add on top of that, the you know, Alex is like, oh, you've already got some home goods bags in your closet. Yep, already. <laughs> so, okay, moving on to the oven. I said, oh my gosh, is my oven on? First of all, uh, that oven we bought for the tenants that are renting our house, which such a sweet family. Um, Alex found them. They're actually in the, they're, they're neighbors of ours right now. And they were looking for a different, okay, it doesn't matter. So I had to, obviously had to buy them a new oven. I said, hey, would you be comfortable cooking everything at 411 degrees and spending 20 minutes trying to turn the oven on? And she was like, nah, that's not really my style. And I said, oh, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> that's fine. So I bought a new oven for them. And it's not like the worst oven. It's not the, you know, most expensive oven. It was like mid-range. Hate it. Oh my gosh. I only had to deal with it for like a week. Oh, nope. No, thank you. The stovetop was so hard to clean. What? I almost started buying the pink stuff that all the influencers were like, buy this and it'll clean your crap. Uh, alas, I didn't. Anyway, so moving forward, I will no longer have to bake things at 411 degrees. So I'm wondering because for, if I'm being honest, 411 degrees really worked out for me. Like nothing I made was, was like, ooh, this is burnt or ooh, what? 411 degrees was great. I feel like I could still <laughs> cook at that temperature for the rest of my life. It was actually like a running joke. So when it first happened a couple of years ago, I would tell my fi my family like, oh, our oven's broken. <laughs> my oven's broken. So that they'd be like, well, how do you cook anything? And I'd tell them, well, I just have to cook everything <laughs> at 411 degrees. And I would show up with my, you know, whatever platter of whatever I cooked. And I'd show them it's like slightly more browned than it should be and Oh man, it was just, it, it's a funny time. Things like that, that's how memories are made. That's how, you know, stories evolve from. So anyway, happy to, actually, I'm not happy to get a new oven if I'm being completely honest. I loved my oven and stovetop so much, so much. The oven I have right now in this house, it, wait, I don't think I've used the under oven. They're, they actually have a microwave oven that doubles as a confection oven and a toaster. It's crazy. It, it does so many things. I have yet to really uncover the power of this house, if you will. I mean, it's like a rich people house. They So many things in it. I'm just like, what? What? I think like, where did they put their towels when they're done? <laughs> When they were done using them in the shower, there's no, there's like no hooks anywhere. I'm like, is this how rich people live? I need to hang my towel because I don't wash it after every time I shower. I use it a couple times and then I wash it. It's clean. I, I'm just drying off my clean body. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I just thought, do rich people wash their towels every time they take a shower? <laughs> take a shower? Oh, you let me know. Okay. Is that a rich people thing or is that a hygiene thing? And I'm just dirty. Gonna get dirty. Gonna get a little bit rowdy. Wow. My tone is a little off. I'm a little off pitch because I'm stuffy. My ears are actually so clogged. So who knows what you can hear. Anyway, man, you guys, this is where I get a little loopy. It's getting late. I'm just so thankful to have you here and to have you be part of this journey with us. Man, I, you know, I can't thank you enough. I can't express my gratitude to you and your friendship. It's been, it's been fun doing house tours. I have to t say that. Toward the end, I was like, I'm getting a little sick of these. And I didn't even post all of them. I probably had six house tours filmed and unposted. And then beyond that, I probably had like 10 properties that I filmed and never posted. I mean, when I tell you our life was so consumed by looking for a property in a house, 
Oh my gosh. So many hours and days were spent just driving around looking for stuff and researching. And we finally, I mean, I'd like to say we finally found it, but it kind of just fell into our lap and it just worked out in the weirdest ways possible. But I guess that's just life. That's how life works out sometimes. And you have to just go with the flow. And I was doing my best to do that. But toward the end of filming all those house tours, I was like, this is getting a Lord. My, my channel is going to turn into a real estate channel at that point. I, I've even thought about making a separate channel. I mean, I think about things all the time. It doesn't mean I'm ever going to do them. And, you know, just bouncing ideas. Mostly Alex. He's he's the big idea man. Anyway, he's like, we you should start a, a real estate channel. <laughs> I was like, well, I don't know about that, okay? Uh, the problem with that is I don't know what anything is called. Like anything. <laughs> I just be like, oh, look at this thing. So that wouldn't work out. But I am glad that we found this house. It's crazy that, I mean, I'm looking at the footage of us packing our belongings and I'm just, oh, that's what broke. One thing. Did I even finish that story? <laughs> oh, there goes Alex. I, did I even finish that story where I said nothing broke? Well, well, nothing in that box broke with all the Disney snow globes. I'm circling way back to the beginning, probably the second box that I packed with the, all the Disney snow globes and the uh, bubble wrap. I said nothing broke in that box is what I meant to say because after I stacked the boxes trying to make everything nice and tidy for the movers when they came and uh, helped us move uh, Wentworth that morning the kids had school so he decided like any four-year-old would to climb on the stack of boxes and one fell down and uh, what does he say about Humpty Dumpty? All the king's horses and all the king's men could not put Humpty back together again. And that is what happened with four of my dishes. Uh, they were bowls and platters and it's whatever. Like if that's the only thing that broke, I don't even, at that point when I was unpacking, I was like, I don't even care. Burn it. <laughs> like I don't want to unpack any more boxes. So that's fine. That's fine. Life happens. It's a bowl. I have 17 other bowls, <laughs> you know. I could always run up to Home Goods and find another bowl that I'm obsessed with. Speaking of bowls and Home Goods, oh my gosh, you guys. Once you see this shop with me that I'm hopefully going to, oh, I'm hoping to get four videos up this week. I'm telling you because it's the end of the video and I know I don't think everyone's sticking around. I just think it's like me and you at this point. So, I'm trying to get four videos up this week because I have four sponsored videos this month and I don't typically do that. So I'm trying to get more content to kind of like balance out. And also I have a lot of content to put out. So that's just us. Okay. Hope it gets done. And uh, if it does get excited that I actually had the time to edit because <laughs> that's the most time consuming part. Okay. And plus, I mean, I can go on, but I will save you. I'll save you. <laughs> That's what I'll do. All right. Well, th this pack with me video kind of turned into, hey, let's chit chat about a whole bunch of random stuff. But alas, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. It was a fun time packing the house. And that is a lie. It was, <laughs> it was the opposite of fun. I hope I never have to do it again. Let me know how many times you've moved in your life. Because I'll tell you, as a child, you know, I moved into my childhood home when I was like, I don't know, three years old. Never moved until I was 18 and well, I was 17. I moved away for college and I didn't even pack all my stuff. And then when I married Alex and moved away, I didn't pack all my stuff then either because we, you know, we still had the house. I just left whatever I didn't want to bring. So this is the first, it will set second. Yeah, because we moved into this house, but I feel like we still didn't have that much stuff. I mean, we, we, Alex and I have moved all together a handful of times. We lived in Italy, then we moved back and we lived in a townhouse and then we moved to this house. So we've moved a handful of times, but this is clearly the most stuff that we've had because obviously we have more people in our lives that live in the house. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we have more stuff because we have more people. Mostly just me. Mostly just me buying a bunch of stuff. All right. Well, that's that. I thank you guys so much again for hanging out and watching. 
if you want to and you're, <laughs> you're still around, subscribe. Put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.